Dikr also zikr, zekr, zakir, jikr, and variants, Arabic, dikr translate. Dikr kur, plural adkar adkar, kr, meaning, mentioning, are devotional acts in Islam in which short phrases or prayers are repeatedly recited silently within the mind or aloud. It can be counted on a set of prayer beads misbaha misbahat or in one's head. A person who recites the dikr is called a dikir akr. Tazba C is a form of dikr that involves the repetitive utterances of short sentences glorifying God. The content of the prayers includes the names of God, or a du prayer of supplication taken from the hadith or the Quran. Topic. Importance There are several verses in the Quran that emphasize the importance of remembering the will of God by saying phrases such as, God willing, God knows best, and if it is your will, this is the basis for dhikr. Surah 18, Al Kaf, Ayah 24 states a person who forgets to say, God willing, should immediately remember God by saying, May my Lord guide me to do better next time. Quote, other verses include Surah 33, Al Azab, Ayah 41. O ye who believe, celebrate the praises of Allah and do this often. And Surah 13, Ar Rad, Ayah 28. They are the ones whose hearts rejoice in remembering God. Absolutely, by remembering God, the hearts rejoice. Muhammad said, "The best dikr is la ilaha illallah." There is no god but God, and the best supplicatory prayer is alhamdulillah. Praise be to God. Muslims believe dikr is one of the best ways to enter the higher level of heaven and to glorify the oneness of Allah. To Sufis, dikr is seen as a way to gain spiritual enlightenment and achieve union or annihilation in God. All Muslim sects endorse individual rosaries as a method of meditation, the goal of which is to obtain a feeling of peace, separation from worldly values, and, in general, strengthen iman. Faith. Topic. Common phrases There are several phrases that are usually read when remembering Allah. Here are a few. Allah all is the Arabic word for God and mentioned in Quran most of the verses. Allahu Akbar takbir, al Akbar means, God is greater, or God is the greatest. Subhan Allah tazba, svan al means, Glory be to God, or how pure is God? Or, Exalted be God. Alhamdulillah tamid almd yh means, All praise is due to God. An expression of gratitude. La ilaha illa lalah talil la al Allah al means, There is no God but Allah. La hala wa la quwata illa bi la hakala la hul vlakut Allah bal means, There is no power or strength except with God. By smi lahi ar rahmani ar rahim basmala means in the name of God the gracious the merciful said before anything of spiritual significance e.g. eating wudu salat rising from and going to sleep before work etc. Astaghfirullah istighfar means I seek forgiveness from Allah. Adabila tawi means I seek refuge in Allah. La ilaha illallahu wadahu la sharikalahu lahul mulku wa lahul hamdu wa huwa Allah kuli shayin kadir, means, There is no God but Allah, alone, without partner. His is the sovereignty, and His the praise, and He has power over everything. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, means, Glory be to Allah and praise Him. Subhanallahi wa bihamdihi, subhan alahi l backquote adhim, glory be to Allah, and praise him, glory be to Allah, the Supreme. Some of these can be said together, e.g. Subhanallaha wal hamdulillahi wa la ilaha illallahu wallahu akbar, means, Glory be to Allah, all praise is for Allah, there is no God but Allah, Allah is the greatest. Subhanallah wal hamdulillahi wa la ilaha illallahu wa la hu akbar wa la hala wa la quwata illa billahal aliul azim. La ilaha illallahu wa dahu la sharikalahu lahul mulku wa lahul hamdu wa huwa Allah kuli shayin kadir, means, There is no God but Allah alone, who has no partner. His is the dominion and his is the rays, and he is able to do all things.
Subhanallaha wal hamdulillahi wa la ilaha illallahu wallahu akbar wa la hala wa la quwata illa billah aliyul azim La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al zalimin There is no god but Allah glory to you verily I was one of the wrongdoers Topic Quran as dhikr Reciting the Quran sincerely is also considered a kind of dhikr. E.g. Reciting Surah Ikhlas, Tahid Surah 112 is equal to one-third of the Quran. Reciting Surah Ikhlas ten times gives a palace in heaven. Reciting Surah Kafirun Surah 109 is equal to one-fourth of the Quran. Reciting Surah Nasr Surah 110 is equal to one-fourth of the Quran. Reciting Surah Zalzala is equal to half of the Quran. Topic: A hadith mentioning virtues. Shall I tell you about the best of deeds, the most pure in the sight of your Lord, about the one that is of the highest order and is far better for you than spending gold and silver, even better for you than meeting your enemies in the battlefield where you strike at their necks and they at yours? The companions replied, Yes, O Messenger Sly al Lai Willem of Allah. He replied, Remembrance of Allah Jail Jalal. People will not sit in an assembly in which they remember Allah Jail Jalal without the angels surrounding them, mercy covering them, and Allah Jail Jalal mentioning them among those who are with him. There is nothing that is a greater cause of salvation from the punishment of Allah than the remembrance of Allah. Hadrat Mu Adh ibn Jabal said that the Prophet Sly al Lai Walem also said, The people of Paradise will not regret except one thing alone, the hour that passed them by and in which they made no remembrance of Allah Jail Jalal. It is mentioned in Hadith that where people are oblivious to dhikr, remembrance of Allah is like being steadfast in jihad when others are running away. Targhib, p. 193, Vol. 3 Ref. Bazaar and Tabrani. Topic. Sufi view Followers of Sufism often engage in ritualized dhikr ceremonies, the details of which sometimes vary between Sufi orders or tariqa. Each order, or lineage within an order, has one or more forms for group dhikr, the liturgy of which may include recitation, singing, music, dance, costumes, incense, murakaba meditation, ecstasy, and trance. Though the extent, usage and acceptability of many of these elements vary from order to order, with many condemning the usage of instruments considered unlawful by most scholars and intentional loss of control. In addition, costumes are quite uncommon and is almost exclusively unique to the Mevlavi order in Turkey, which is an official cultural heritage of the secular Turkish state. In Sufism, group dhikr does not necessarily entail all of these forms. The most common forms of Sufi group dhikr consist in the recital of particular litanies e.g. Hizb al-Bar of the Shadalis, a composition of Quranic phrases and prophetic supplications e.g. Word al-Latif of the Ba'alawis, or a liturgical repetition of various formula and prayers e.g. al-Wadifa of the Tajanis. All of these forms are referred to as a Hizb place, Azab, or a word place. Orad. This terminological usage is important as some critics often mistakenly believe that the word Hizb only refers to a portion of the Quran. In addition, many recite extended prayers upon Muhammad known as Darud of which the Dalil al qirat is perhaps the most popular. Though common to almost all Sufi orders, some such as the Naqsbandis, prefer to perform their dhikr silently, even in group settings. In addition, most gatherings are held on Thursday or Sunday nights as part of the institutional practices of the tariqa since Thursday is the night marks the entrance of the Muslim holy day of Friday and Sundays are a convenient congregational time in most contemporary societies though people who don't live near their official zaviyya gather whenever is convenient for the most people. Another type of group dhikr ceremony that is most commonly performed in Arabic countries is called the hadra lit. presence. The Hadra is a communal gathering for dhikr and its associated liturgical rituals, prayers, and song recitals, performing both in private or public. Though the Hadra is popular in part because of the controversy surrounding it, it is mostly practiced in North Africa, the Middle East and Turkey. 
In Turkey this ceremony is called zikr i kiyam standing dikr and imara in Algeria and Morocco. In places like Syria where Sufis are a visible part of the fabric and psyche of society, each order typically has their private gathering on one day and will participate in a public hadra at a central location to which both the affiliated and unaffiliated alike are invited as an expression of unity. Similar public ceremonies occur in Turkey, Egypt, Algeria and Morocco. For those who perform it, the Hadra marks the climax of the Sufis gathering regardless of any teaching or formal structure, it often follows a formal teaching session as a way of internalizing the lessons. Musically, the structure of the Hadra includes several secular Arab genres each of which expresses a different emotion and can last for hours. It is directed by the Sheikh of the Tariqa or one of his representatives, monitoring the intensity, depth, and duration of the phases of the Hadra. The Sheikh aims to draw the circle into deep awareness of God and away from the participants' own individuatedness. The Dikr ceremonies may have a ritually determined length or may last as long as the Sheikh deems his murids require. The Hadra section consists of the ostinato like repetition of the name of God over which the soloist performs a richly ornamented song. In many hadras, this repetition proceeds from the chest and has the effect of a percussion instrument, with the participants bending forward while exhaling and stand straight while inhaling so that both the movement and sound contribute to the overall rhythm. The climax is usually reached through cries of Allah, Allah, or Hu Hu, which is either the pronoun He or the last vowel on the word Allah, depending on the method while the participants are moving up and down. Universally, the Hadra is almost always followed by Quranic recital in the Tardil style, which according to al Junaid al-Baghdadi, was a prophetic instruction received through a dream. More common than the Hadra is the Sama backquote lit. audition, a type of group ceremony that consists mostly of the audition of spiritual poetry and Quranic recitation in an emotionally charged manner, and thus is not dikr as the technical sense the word implies. However, the same debate over certain matters of decorum apply as exists with the Hadra. Even though group dikr is popular and makes up the spiritual life of most Sufi adherents, other more private forms of dikr are performed more routinely, usually consisting of the order's word daily litany, which adherents usually recite privately, even if gathered together. So although group dikr is seen as a hallmark of Sufism, the Sufis themselves practice the same private forms of worship that other Muslims practice, though usually more frequently and methodically, group dikr is a less frequent occurrence and is not the end all and be all of Sufism, as some Sufi orders do not even perform it. Topic. Sufi meaning Dikr takes on a wide range and various layers of meaning. In some Sufi orders it is instituted as a ceremonial activity. In Tasawwuf Islamic mysticism or Sufism dhikr is most likely the most frequent form of prayer. Among the orders of Muslims that practice dhikr, there are some who advocate silent, individual prayer, while others join together in an outward, group expression of their love for God. There are also a number of hadiths that give emphasis to remembrance of God. Dhikr in Sufism Dikr is given great importance by some Sufi writers, among them is Najm al-Din Razi who wrote about Dikr in the context of what it combats. In contrast to the virtues of remembrance, Razi uses the perils of forgetfulness to show the importance of Dikr. The soul and the world are veils that make people forget God. The Naqshbandi Haqqani Sufi Order of America says this about Dikr, Dikr is the means by which stations yield their fruit, until the seeker reaches the Divine Presence. On the journey to the Divine Presence the seed of remembrance is planted in the heart and nourished with the water of praise and the food of glorification, until the tree of dhikr becomes deeply rooted and bears its fruit. It is the power of all journeying and the foundation of all success. It is the reviver from the sleep of heedlessness, the bridge to the one remembered. Topic. Sufi methods There are some Sufi orders, such as the Shadhili, that perform a ritualized form of dhikr in groups termed hadra, lit. presence, the details of which are discussed below. Another method of dhikr, but which is most commonly associated with Sufism, is the repetition of the Arabic name, Allahu. Sufi orders have similar practices, some with similar visualizations and others choosing to focus only on the attachment of their heart to the one they are invoking. 
Though this is associated almost exclusively with Sufism in modern times, many of the Quranic exegesis of the past approved of the practice e. e. Fakhr al-Din al-Razi in his Mafata al-Ghayb, which confirms that it has a basis in orthodoxy. Topic. Prayer beads Known also as tasbah, these are usually misbaha prayer beads upon a string, 99 or 100 in number, which correspond to the names of God in Islam and other recitations. The beads are used to keep track of the number of recitations that make up the dhikr. When the dhikr involves the repetition of particular phrases a specific number of times, the beads are used to keep track so that the person performing dhikr can turn all of their focus on what is actually being said, as it can become difficult to concentrate simultaneously on the number and phrasing when one is doing so a substantial number of times. In the United States, Muslim inmates are allowed to utilize prayer beads for therapeutic effects. In Alamein v. Coughlin, 892 F. Sup. 440 EDNY 1995, Imam Hamza S. Alamein, A. K. A. Gilbert Henry, and Robert Golden brought suit against Thomas A. Coughlin III, etc., at Alia head of the Department of Corrections in the state of New York pursuant to 28 U.S.C. at 1983. The plaintiffs argued that prisoners have a First Amendment constitutional right to pursue Islamic healing therapy called KASM, Kasamahu Kasama, taking an oath which uses prayer beads. The Rosary of Oaths, which Alamine developed, was used to successfully rehabilitate inmates suffering from co-occurring mental health challenges and substance abuse issues during the 1990s. All people, including Muslims and Catholics, were allowed to use prayer beads inside prisons, lest their freedom of religion be violated when the prison administration forbade their possession as contraband in the penal system. The practice of carrying prayer beads became controversial when gang members began carrying specific colors of prayer beads to identify themselves. See also Dikrala Dua Darud Saber Salat Mantra Notes Topic References Friedlander, Ira. 1975. The Whirling Dervishes. New York, Macmillan. ISBN 0 02 541540 9. Tuma, Habib Hassan. 1996. The Music of the Arabs, Trans. Laurie Schwartz. Portland, Oregon, Amadeus Press. ISBN 0 931340 88 8. Topic. Further reading Al Amin, Hamza, Dikr, Islamic Mindfulness, Using Neurolingual Programming in Cognitive Spiritual Therapy, https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two oh one six oh three oh five oh four oh five five oh slash http colon slash slash w dot uplish dot info slash article slash dicker dash dash Islamic dash mindfulness dash 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 using dash neuro dash lingual dash programming dash in dash cognitive Dash spiritual dash therapy slash nine five four four one seven Broderson, Angelica. Remembrance, in Muhammad in History, Thought, and Culture, an Encyclopedia of the Prophet of God, two vols, edited by C. Fitzpatrick and A. Walker, Santa Barbara, ABC Clio, 2014, volume 2, pp. 520-523. ISBN 1610691776 Hamza, Ali 1976. The Path of God's Bondsman, From Origin to Return. North Halden, N.J., Islamic Publication International, 1980. Schimmel, Anne-Marie. Mystical Dimensions of Islam. Chapel Hill, The University of North Carolina p. 1975. Gardet, L. Dicker, Encyclopedia of Islam, 2nd edition. Edited by, P. Behrman, T. H. Bianchi, C. E. Bosworth, E. Van Donzel and W. P. Heinrichs. Brill, 2009. Jawadi Amuli, Abdullah. Dicker and the Wisdom Behind It. Pravratsky, Bruce. Muslim Turkestan, Kazakh Religion and Collective Memory, p. 104. 
Topic external links How to do Dicker Noxabendi Daily Dicker Video of Noxabendi Dicker at NY Durga Complete Guide and Introduction to Zikr Scottish Naqshbandi Dicker Sufi Live Virtues of Dicker Dicker Tracking App Simple Dicker Counter and Tracker for iPhone